from St. John Ambulance senior training officer here you're going to help us out absolutely with the most first of all welcome thank we've you. been chatting in the commercial break i had to go Shh, stop for a second uh, most common summertime accidents with kids got to be falls yes um, falls are normally the leading cause of hospitalizations for children anyway and in the summertime when they're out they're doing adventurous activities they're just getting out okay not today enjoying the today, sunshine today's but the only day that there's today's no the sun. only day they're going to be safe because they're all inside playing video games right. but you know, any other day when the sun's out they're out there they're doing activities they're going to fall over it's natural that's how they learn so when we do have a fall what is a defining or what are we looking for to know when it is time to go to emergency or when you can you know blow it off deal with it with your uh, first aid kit or mummy kisses M mummy kisses are very important never underestimate the power of mummy kisses and mummy hugs right those are very important uh, some things are really obvious you know there's you know there's bones that are you know there's things that are misshapen that's right. really obvious that's go to hospital the ones that fall and you know the littles grazes they're really easy you know you can deal with those yeah. but it's the ones that fall in between that make you go nah, yeah. do I don't I and the best guide for that one is mummy or daddy or whoever it is instincts right. you know and are they you know are they behaving normally for them and are they reacting the way they normally would okay so if they bump their heads bump their heads so obviously the big worry about that is always concussions right you know it's the big thing it's in everybody's mind especially for anybody that plays sports they want to know whether they're going. so again are they behaving normally for them mm -hmm. that's the big one if they're not behaving normally if they lose consciousness for any reason that's a definite go to the hospital that, that's a 911 right you know, okay you know, so not even go to emergency if they lose consciousness, they lose consciousness and wake up 911 911 that you know that, oh, that's what our, our ambulance service is there for and they'll happy they'll be happy to deal with us let's talk about what's in here because we all have a first aid kit or we should we should if we're prepared we've got a first aid kit but do we know how to use it I'm just oh. gonna move little baby over here so the important yes. thing with the first aid kit is you want to get it out and have, that's it. Get it out and have a look at it before you need okay, it. Okay, before you need it. Because the time to the, the time to discover what's in it is not when you first need it. Where do we get this? This is beautifully packed. So these are fantastic. These are our own design kits. You can get them in any of our St John Ambulance branches, or you can get them off our online website. Right. Uh, www.sja.ca. Um, these are laid out in the order that you need them. So when you first open it up, what do we need? What's the first thing you need to do with it? We need to clean Disinfect it. Disinfect it. Yes. So clean. So we We've got all our cleaning materials. Disinfect, cover it, cover it, dress it, and then later on dressings. And then, if, and then if we get, need to get into the sort of the slings, then you've got then we've got our triangular bandages, which is our fantastic first aid all-purpose device. Right, comes with comes with its safety pins because you can never find one. Never when you find need a safety one. pin. Okay, we're short on time okay. and long on information. And as I told you earlier, Keith, when I first had a child, biggest fear: summertime, hot dog, choking. Absolutely. What do we do? So. Uh, Choking, first of all, let's make gravity our friend. Right. So we want to, you know, it went in this way, so we want it to come out that way. So up, turn them upside down, get them head down so they're very, and then we're going to use a combination of either smacking them on the back. Yep. And it's going to be fairly firm. You want to make this happen. It's like okay. a reverse Heimlich. Exactly. Yeah. And then we're going to, and then we're going to swoop over now. And what we want to do, we're going to press on the sternum. So right yeah. here on the breastbone. One, two, three, four. Five, and we're just going to alternate in groups of five, and we're going to wait till it pops out. Right. Because it's going to cut. You know, it's, it's going go, to it's come out. Come out yeah. And you're going to, and then they're going to make that wonderful crying noise, and you're going to go. There's so much <sighs> relief. But be careful of those hot dogs in summertime. Yeah. If you have the little who's just having the first, make them sit. Right. Don't run around with your hot dog. Yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know. People aren't necessarily going to remember exactly what I showed them there. And then I'd love to recommend something that our colleagues in the UK produced. Do. Um, chokeables. Um, if you just Google it or put it into YouTube, there's a fantastic little sort of one, one and a half minute video clip um, which explains what to do in choking. And it's a great thing. You know, you're sitting there on the bus, you yeah. can just look at it. It's quite fun. Or take a course. There are, but there are those available online. That's yeah. brilliant. Very, very sage advice. Make sure you err on the side of caution with this, of course, when you're trying to get that choking, uh, or when you're trying to clear the airway, you've already called 911. Right, because they're on the way. So we can get this uh, St. John Ambulance, so tja.ca. SJA. Oh, sorry. It's Close. Friday. It's Friday. SJA.ca. Thanks so much for being here. Thank Teach you for having us. Something. This is what we need. We need to get our stocked first aid kit and know how to use it and be sure that grandma and grandpa know how to use it, mom, dad, even big brother, big sister. We're going to take